Hello to all of my viewers and I welcome you on another episode of Match Point. Dr. Adnan welcomes all of you who have joined my show and we are towards the quick, quick cricket updates and of course the biggest update from the Asian point of view where the Asian giants were colliding along with the new minnows but no more the minnows Afghanistan Asia Cup is over and Team India Bharat Asia ka naya champion ban gaya. India became the new Asian champion of the world cricket as well as the T20 as well as the 50 over format both formats India has now clean sweep as a becoming a new Asian champion and would you believe that team India is having the record seventh title this time after winning and grabbing the Asia Cup from Bangladesh and then not over the seventh title the seven figure suits India too much might be their previous skipper Dhoni's seven number shirt is the lucky figure for them as just for the England previously in the soccer the seven for the Beckham and for the Spain seven for the Raul this became the lucky number for them seventh win as a Asian champion and also the 700 700 win number 700 for India in this Asia Cup if I go previously to the record and I tell you that the most wins said might be you will not be disappointing and you will not be surprised India is not with the most wins India is at the third slot with the 700 wins in the international cricket in the ODI this is the third most by any team in the limited over format who are the top two Dr. Nan will tell you because this is match point 995 for Australia. Team Australia, the champions of the champions, is having the maximum number of wins in an ODI and ever in the history of the game since it began five decades ago. And the seventh one is their famous arch rival, 767 wins for the English team, Joe Root's team. Michael Vaughan's team and the English team is at the second slot and the team India became the third team in the history of cricket to touch the magic figure of 7-0-0. Asia Cup is over, a lot of teams have been knocked out like Sri Lanka, Pakistan but the disaster coming to the Sri Lanka as the Angelo Matthews, their previous captain has been axed. Already I told you in the pre uh, version of the Asia Cup that his career is in the dwindling in between in and out in and out in between the injuries and sometimes in the team sometimes out of the team and this has to be done so finally the major headline that he has been axed and removed from the Sri Lankan team and Sri Lankan team is no more will see Angelo Matthews until and unless he will regain his form and then the next news is from the Pakistan there uh, previous middle order batsman all rounder Azhar Mahmood who is the bowling coach of Pakistan he has said that we have discovered the shining and prosperous Shaheen Shah RCB and we are very happy with this guy Azhar Mahmood says that the Shaheen's career has a long way to go and he was brilliant in the Asia Cup and his pace was worth seeing and watching on these dead tracks of the subcontinent in the Asia Cup and he is being impressive throughout the Asia Cup day by day his uh, performance was getting better having the skills full of energy and eager to take wicket and the celebration full of energy reminds us of the Pakistan Pacers in and their youth back in the 70s and 80s for which Pakistan is famous for Next headline is regarding the Pakistan, the Steve Rickson, the Pakistan's previous fielding coach who has resigned and who left Pakistan team, he has opened another saga. What is that saga? Steve Rickson has said soon after resigning and getting the payment that he was not liking working with the PCB. He targets PCB in a harsh words and he said the payments were not at the time. He was not being told and informed well in time about the different timings. Punctuality was the problem, but the same problem like all the previous coaches that all the things he was disclosing soon after his resignation. Everything was well under control and when in, uh, good in line, 
when he was with the team pakistan and he was taking money from the pcb soon he left and all the things became bad and the negative and this was not to god but he said that he decided to leave in the june and this was the key point that he is focused that he has been not given the importance and not given the money in time next news is regarding the spinning sensation rashid khan who took afghanistan to the new heights ever new heights in the cricket and who can imagine that the minos coming to the uh, cricket and then becoming the giant killer very soon we have seen the rebirth of sri lanka zimbabwe back in the past in the 1983 world cup in 1981 1982 when sri lanka came on and later on after the david houghton but all the teams were struggling even the bangladesh after beating pakistan in the 99 world cup and then the irish team killing pakistan in 2007 world cup bangladesh killing uh, uh, indian team in the 2007 world cup but all of them struggled none of them rose like afghanistan one man behind the afghanistan the key man rashid khan the ranking goes up number 1 t20 bowler and he has been officially announced as the number 1 odi all rounder rashid khan and in the odi in the bowling he has been ranked now number 2 rashid khan the spin sensation from afghanistan another major headline from the south africa imran tahir imran tahir at 39 years and 190 days Imran Tahir became the oldest bowler to take a hat trick in the international cricket. Would you believe he has beaten Rangana Herat who has taken the hat trick at 38 years and 138 days is versus Australia that was in goal back in 2016 but now this record has been shattered away by the Pakistani Nijad South African Pakistani born South African born and raised in Lahore and Sialkot and later on turned to be the Springbok one of the proud Springbok and the part of the Multan Sultan he is the oldest man in the cricket history to achieve a hat trick three wickets from three balls next major headline is about Steven Smith Steven Smith the dejected Australian captain has joined the Pakistan Super League another star and another feather on the uh, big face of the Pakistan Super League a big success now you can see Steven Smith in the upcoming PSL 4 and we will soon tell you in the upcoming programs that which franchise he is going to join since 2000 only one team has played 50th over as a medal over would you believe in the today's world only one team which has played the 50th over of the innings the maiden over when i say at the 50th over i believe uh, i mean it i mean it do believe me three times maiden have been played the 50th over and i will tell you who are these teams the first team to do it is pakistan versus bangladesh currently right now in the asia cup you saw would you believe the last second last Uh, 50th medal over was played in Abu Dhabi back in 2014, and that was against Australia. And unluckily, team was Pakistan. And now the third time, back in the 2003, it happened in the Dambola, and the team was New Zealand. And would you believe that the opponents were also Pakistan? Pakistan is the only team in the last 20 years who has three times played. the maiden 50th over of the game whatever the cause it is the first batting or it is the second batting who cares mushafkur rahim the batting sensation from bangladesh became the first bangladeshi batsman to get out on the 99 in the odis in this asia cup moreover i just want to tell you as a fun that he is the only bangladeshi batsman ever in the history who got out on 98 also one time on the 98 and one time on the 99 oh my god two times he has done this and the match against afghanistan i will tell you about something about the indian old skipper and the mr reliable i mean ms dhoni mohindra singh dhoni who against the match versus afghanistan 
कैप्टन इंडिया फॉर द टू हंड्रेड ओ डी आई दिस वॉज द न्यू अमेजिंग रिकॉर्ड मोस्ट ओ डी आईज एज अ कैप्टन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो नॉट द एम एस धोनी ही हैज डन इट टू हंड्रेड टाइम बट दिस मैजिक फिगर हैज बीन अचीव ट्वाइस द फर्स्ट टाइम वेन इट वॉज अचीव इट वॉज अचीव बैक इन द पास बाय द ऑस्ट्रेलियन वर्ल्ड कप विनिंग कैप्टन टू टाइम विनिंग कैप्टन रिकी पॉन्टिंग who is leading with 230 appearances for the team australia and then the proud kiwi skipper stephen fleming who has uh, done uh, this for the black caps for 213 times so he is now third on the list on this very day in the headlines i want to tell you that a significant history in the pakistan cricket miss bahul haq was in that today's date was appointed as a test captain back in 2010 and then would you believe after 2010 miss pa went on to the conquering whole the cricket world and he became the best ever skipper beating all the records of imran khan abdul hafiz kardar and finally with the 26 wins under his feather and this is most by any pakistan skipper and now the time for the killer factor in uh, end of my headlines bring the music up for the killer factor second final in the history of odi which final the asia cup we are discussing the asia cup asia cup final was between India and Bangladesh the two Asian teams among the one of the giants team India and team India beating Bangladesh in style but the match went to the last over do you remember that how many times the final games went to the last over whenever they go they were the thrillers to reach to the last moments a team who have successfully chased the target on the last ball of the game it was not the first time india has successfully chased the target on the last ball of the game but this has been done twice because 25 years ago this was achieved on the same very grounds but it was against team india what was that that was the nightmare for the indians that was the nightmare for the previous skipper rahul dravid that was the nightmare for the saurav ganguly as a childhood and that was the six to the chetan sharma versus javed miadad the mid mid wicket six on the sharja stadium on the last ball of the game and the penultimate ball of the game is still the match to remember and a match to remember in the that decade in the april of 1986 when pakistan did it for the first time ever in the history of the game and this is still the last moment six is the only time when any cup was gone in the cricket and the target was minimum boundary ever this has been not achieved in the cricketing world until today's day and the show begins and we want to uh, start the show uh, after the headlines but i think we need a little break before we start the show and when i will come back i will tell you in detail how india did it against bangladesh and what was the bangladesh sufferings which made them lost the finals you are watching match point i am dr adnan keep watching over youtube greatest empire usa you can follow the same facebook page and the youtube greatest empire usa i will take a short break and i will be right back welcome back after the break we are discussing the asia cup grand finale where india beat team bangladesh by 3 wickets to clinch the Asia Cup for the record seventh time but would you believe that the team Bangladesh was in such a good position that who can think that they can collapse later on the batting on the amazing flat dry pitch Bangladesh were 116 for no in the first 20 overs and we were thinking for the total until 280 and 290 and believe me and that would have been a cracker of a game and who knows team India 
will have a real tough time to chase that huge target on that turning pitch later on when the dew drops were coming. But in the next 28.3 overs, can you believe that they made 106 only and they lost 10 wickets in that interval? Brilliant century opening stand by the Bangladesh and I was not expecting but they played really well on the top order. Only one side that had got dismissed for a total lower than the Bangladesh 2-2-2 in the tournament's final after making a century partnership. Because usually after making a century partnership, the team total is going past usually minimum above 250. But there was only one time in the tournament's final history in the cricket records where the team making the opening partnership of above 100 and then collapsing below 222. And that was the England team, unlucky England team, who made 194 in the 1979 World Cup Grand Finale, that Prudential Cup in England at the Lord's Cricket Ground, at the historic cricket ground, where the Clive Lloyds, West Indies, they are generating pace power at the fast battery of that era destroyed English team like anything and after making a 100 opening stand they collapsed at the 194 runs in the 1979. Anyhow, coming back to the Asia Cup, Lytton Das was the player to watch in the tournament final but unluckily he couldn't win a game for his team Bangladesh. 87 ball 100 he fired from his bat and what a tremendous knock and the joyful to see bashing Indian bowlers throughout the stadium. That is the fastest of the 2400s by the Bangladesh opening batsman in the ODI. The previous fastest was 94 balls by Tamim Iqbal and Sumaya Sarkar. The record has been broken and now this record has been achieved by the Litton Das. Litton Das and Mehdi Hassan partnership was amazing. This is the sixth century stand against India in the ODI finals and believe me, Whenever there is a century stand uh, against the India like this, India has lost on all five such occasions. But Bangladesh was so poor that they couldn't make it to the sixth time for India. X factor for the match point. What is that X factor? Why Bangladesh, in spite of the 100 partnership, couldn't beat Team India in the grand final? Here comes the X factor. India has lost all the nine ODI finals ever in the history of the game where the opposition stand was more than 70 runs for the first wicket. All the finals India have lost. But Rohit Sharma as a captain, whenever Rohit Sharma captain Team India, Team India never lost the final game. This was the core myth of my X Factor. Rohit Sharma never lost the final 100% success rate as a captain. He is the only second Indian skipper after Rahul Dravid to win. He is the four, first four series, winning first four series as a captain. First Rahul Dravid did and now this man, the Machu man for them, Rohit Sharma did it in style. And another skipper, the previous skipper, MSD Mohindra Singh Dhoni, as I told you, the brilliant records for him, that was the 800th dismissal, 800 dismissal for Dhoni than Russian cricket and he became the first player from the subcontinent to do it in a style and overall he is the third wicket keeper after the great Adam Gilchrist and the Mark Boucher. Most dismissals, if you ask in the national cricket, that is not Mahindra Singh Dhoni, obviously. Third on the rank is 800, but still going on. And 905 is the Adam Gilchrist, while amazingly at the top of the list, South African Mark Boucher is at 998, only two less than the magic figure. Bangladesh versus India, the another quote, core myth factor why Bangladesh lost. Bangladesh in the knockout game against India. Five times they played and five times they lost the game. Lost, 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 lost. Bangladesh have played eight knockout matches across all formats and they have lost all eight games whoever was the knockout game. And five of these eight were against Team India. I will go into detail. That was the 2015 World Cup quarter-final, 2016 Asia Cup final. This was not the first time. 
2017 चैंपियंस ट्रॉफी सेमीफाइनल वेयर पाकिस्तान वन 218 2018 निदास ट्रॉफी फाइनल वेयर दे वन द दे लॉस्ट द गेम एंड नाउ इट इज अ 2018 एशिया कप फाइनल वेयर बांग्लादेश अगेन लॉस्ट अगेंस्ट इंडिया हार्ड लक बांग्लादेश मोस्ट एशिया कप विक्ट्रीज एज आई टोल्ड यू रिकॉर्ड सेवंथ टाइम इंडिया पिक द एशियन टाइटल फाइव टाइम टीम श्रीलंका हैज taken the asia cup title and only two times back in 2000 by the mun khan and then 2012 by the pakistan captain misbahul haq for those two lucky captains who have been traced down to be the successful captains in the asia cup rohit sharma's captaincy is so underrated believe me kohli is a great player but rohit sharma is underrated for his captaincy rohit has done a great job for india kohli is a class of his own when it comes to the batting but believe me rohit sharma is a different class when it comes to the fielding and when it comes to the captaincy of the uh, team india because i do believe that rohit is a far superior leader as compared to virat kohli but no doubts in that that the batting mystery of virat kohli is one of the best in the current generation and might be one of the best in the previous generations if we need to compare only captain with a 100% track record in the finals is rohit sharma as a captain winning percent as a uh, captain in the odis 87.5 and would you believe in the t20s winning percentage of rohit sharma is 88.2% which is a record to see and record to cherish take a bow and then the x factor again for the rohit sharma because now as a odi captain first ipl he has won clt20 first one he has won first odi series he has won first t20 series he has won first tri series he has won first asia cup also been won by rohit sharma and at the end of the show it's time to close and to tell you about tanta da killer factor put the music on killer factor is regarding mushafkur rahim the bengali batsman who was shining with the bat in this asia cup Mushafkur Rahim becomes the 30th batsman to get out on the 99 in the ODIs but do you know as i have told you in the beginning of the show Mushafkur Rahim also got out on the 98 no other batsman in the history of Bangladesh got out on 98 but do you know who is the most unlucky batsman who got out on the 99 maximum times He is none other the Bangladeshi or a Pakistani. He is one of the batting mysterio from Team India. He has got out on 99 for the record four times. Would you believe? Four times he got out and trapped on 99. One and the only Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar who got out and trapped. for the team india at 99 unluckily and very unlucky and unwanted record so this is it from the match point forum you can follow me on the youtube greatest empire usa you can see scrolling down over address downside and also over uh, facebook page is the same name greatest empire usa and the over phone numbers are scrolling down if you have any suggestions to reach to me or you want to come into the show you want to be a part of the show you can contact us at our forum with our team this is dr dan time to say goodbye next time when i will come i will bring out pakistan would have started the match against uh, australia in the home series and the india would have started the home series against the west indies and we will see that where these first test matches are going on till then dr dan says you goodbye take care and Bye bye Welcome back in the grand finale of the Asia Cup India beat West Indies and Dr. Dar mere sath maujood Amrayan Khan is a camera check 1111 camera check camera check camera check long shot main aapka mehman Dr. Adnan like good makeup is good fine Raya
India have taken the Asia Cup and Pakistan lost. मैं आपका मेजबान डॉक्टर नारायण जू आर वॉचिंग मैच पॉइंट लाइव क्रिकेट स्पीच फ्रॉम नॉर्थ अमेरिका